In this video, we are going to create a countdown timer. So hey guys, Mayank here and let us see how you are going to achieve this thing in Python. So here I have my PyCharm and before I write any code, let me just explain you that what is this countdown timer. So this countdown timer is basically an application of a function that is slip function. And this slip function is found inside a time module. So we'll talk about the slip function first and then we will see that how you can make this countdown timer, okay? So countdown timer is something like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so let's see how you can achieve this thing. But before that, if I want to print my name, that is my ank. So if I run this code, you can see I'm getting this my ank over here. Now you'll say why I'm talking this about this thing, okay? So before that, let me just print another my ank. And now you'll say that oh, you can use this thing over here. So I know about this. I can I can just write two here so that I can print this for two times. But I want to like write it like this. So if I run this code, you can see I'm getting this my ank for two times. But if you watch this thing very carefully, then you can see that both of the my ank are going to be rendered at the same time. That means both my ank are going to be represented or printed over here at the same instance or time, okay? So what if I want to get a delay of a time delay? of at least five seconds between these two outputs. So to achieve this thing, we are going to use a function that is slip function. And to call the slip function, we need to import a file or I can say import a module, sorry, that is time module. So here I'm going to write import and time and this time import time is going to uh, import the time module and after writing this code I want a gap of or I can say I, I want a delay of 5 seconds. So to get a delay of 5 seconds I want this execution to be shut for the next 5 seconds after printing this myank over here. So after printing this myank the computer must take a rest of 5 seconds and then print this myank. So if I, I just want to say like after 5 seconds so that you guys can be clear with this. So. So now I want a gap of five seconds and for that I'm going to use this function that is time.slip and time is a module and slip is a function as, as you can see over here if I write slip over here I'm getting this recommendation and inside this I have the seconds. So whatever I'm going to write inside this slip will be in seconds. So if I say five over here then this code will be something like it's going to print my ank and then it's going to take a break or I can say it's going to slip for the next five seconds and then it's going to print this my ank after five seconds. If I run this code you can see I'm getting this my ank and then it is it is stopped for the next five seconds or I can say slip for next five seconds and then I'm getting the output as my after five seconds so that's all about that how we're going to use this slip function so now let us let us see the application of slip function so we have to first understand that we have to write this import time as we have to use slip function but before i talk about this code you must know the practical application of this countdown timer in many games as you must play pubg so you know that when you start this game pubg you see something like 59 58 57 so that's a countdown timer so you have this in many games and in many software as well so that's all about the countdown timer so we're not going to include the graphics we are just going to see the code, okay? So let us let us start this code. And over here, I have imported a time module, and now I'm going to create a function that is def, and it's going to be like countdown. And this is the name of the function, and this function is going to be having an argument that is count time seconds, okay? So after writing this function, I have to come down, and over here, I have to include a while loop. So this while loop will be like time second greater than zero. So this while loop is going to work till the time second is greater than zero. So inside this while loop, I have to print the time first that is time second and then I have to sorry for this and then I have to do something that is I have to do it like this time second equals to minus equals to one okay so what I'm doing over here is that I'm I'm just writing it like this so that you can understand what I have rule here so I have just written this thing in a shorthand format okay so if you don't know about shorthand operator then you can just write it like this after writing this i have to use a slip function that is i have already talked about this so we have to use this slip over here and this slip is like one second only so the number of times this while loop is going to work this slip is going to be executed and over here i can say that what i can say over here uh, well nothing basically so that's all i have to do and if i if i try to run this code for now well i don't have to run this for now so let me just come down and, and i just want to print something that print Okay, I have to print something at last as well. So at this, at the end of this while loop, if this while loop is completed, I want to print something that is times up. Okay, so let me just make this T capital. So it's times up. After writing this thing, if I come down and I want a user to give me the countdown time so that I can count down according to him. If he enters seven, then I will count like seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. If he enters something else, I'm going to work according to him. Okay, so. Over here, I'm, no, I'm not going to add zero. Make it clear, if there will be time greater than zero, um, then only this while loop is going to work. If time will be equal to zero, then this while loop is not going to work, okay? So the time will be only till one, not zero, okay? Keep this thing in your mind. If you want to add zero, you can just put this like this, okay? So, but I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to add this zero, okay? So here I'm going to print that, please enter the, enter the time in seconds to be count down. So here user can enter the time according to him and there is there is no 
such specific thing that you don't understand in this line and after this i want this this thing to be stored somewhere so i'm going to use a variable that is z and this z is going to take this input so i can just say z input and this is going to be my input okay so you can understand what i want to what i want to take over here that is going to be my time in seconds but one thing over here is that what if the user is not um, providing me the correct time that means the user is not providing me the time what i want if what if the user says a y or u or something else so in this case i have to i have to take up with this exception okay so what if user sprints something like this so i have to give him again a chance uh, let's say while not z dot is digit and this is basically going to check whether z is digit or not if z is not a digit then i'm going to print that please enter a digit Okay, sorry for the mistake. Another digit. Okay, so after printing this thing, I want him to get one more chance to print a digit. So I'm gonna copy this thing and paste it over here. And after this, I'm going to run this code, and we're gonna see that what is going to be the output. But before that, we have to call this function what we have created over here, so that we can perform the execution part. So it's count down. So I'm just gonna write count down over here, count down. And inside this, we're gonna write z. But if you're gonna, if you guys know about Python, then you must know that whatever input we are gonna take will be in string so to convert this string into a integer type we have to first come down and we have to say z equals to z int dot z okay so int z so this is going to convert a z into an integer so now if i run this code i must get an error but i'm not getting an error and that's pretty amazing so here it's it says that please enter the time in seconds to be count countdown okay so what if i say w here to check the error and it shows please enter a digit so let me just now enter a digit let's say 10 over here so it's gonna work like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then at the end we are getting times up so that's all about this video we created a countdown timer we learn about the slip function we also see, saw that how we're gonna get a time delay between two outputs let's say i wanna i wanna print this thing over here let me just try this again fast if i wanna print if i wanna print something like um, my my young over here and i'm gonna i want to have some delay of let's say 20 seconds 20 seconds earlier i want to get a delay of um, two seconds before i print this hi over here if i run this code you can see i'm getting the delay of five seconds well you can't see that it's only two seconds so my young and then after two seconds i'm getting my high okay so that's how the slip function works and that's how you can create your own countdown timer and it's all about this video if you like this video then do subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram so that's all for this video thanks for watching this video have a nice day take care bye